It's been a long time, Claire. I wish to know what you're up to, but I kind of get the picture. Observational as always, Larissa. You definitely know how to read people. So, what can I get you? I know we're not the best place to drown out sorrows, but... Just a normal latte, please. I'll probably need more than one. Not a problem for me. You're gay. And, and Jared. I. Why did it have to be this way? I, I knew Jared was always. He, he had issues, but I never thought that. Tragedy is something we can't avoid our entire lives. To what I understand, life just likes to screw with us. But this was preventable. There was, there was so many times and so many opportunities where he could have gotten the help he needed. And my fault. I and even and even though he he did what he did, I I still can't forgive him. I can't. So you can't decide if he has the facade of a monster or the skin of a human. Yes, but I'm trying to figure out if I can forgive him or if he's okay or if I'm okay and he he was confused and he was scared and and he doesn't understand human empathy he's he's completely arrogant and it's kind of my fault for not taking a chance to get to know him better and like help him with his problems but I'm trying to figure out if I can forgive him and I don't think I can people are living embodiments of contradiction not even in the sense that we're hypocritical, we're more so a duality. Human nature is a balancing act in many regards. Desire versus needs, empathy versus being cynical, doing what's necessary for the greater good versus doing what's necessary for the people you care about. How are we supposed to live if we can't balance everything? In such a dilemma as humans, how is it fair? If this was true, civilization would have died many ages ago. Countless tragedy has struck innumerable innocents, but despite this, we continue to push forward, carry our baggage, and keep fighting. Sometimes we don't need a break, and sometimes we need to take a moment to stop. But we get back up. It's a first step which begins with you. Take my kindness, squeeze it dry. Take my strength till you make me cry. Oh, baby, now you ain't got no more.